Welcome to our video. I'm Tregoria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation and we are at the ADAC convention and I've asked Mitch Carmody today to talk a little bit about signs and connections because I know there are people there who have had signs and you're wondering what to do with it, how to deal with it, or you haven't and you're saying, why haven't I? Or you're saying, I've had one and I want more. Okay, Mitch, what do you say to that? Well, it's a it's very interesting phenomenon that uh, many of the bereaved go through and, and we tend to dismiss it as just being in our head. But in all the years of work I've been doing interviews and talking to the bereaved about signs and the continuing connections and the bottom line is how it feels in your heart when something like this happens. And so people are feeling this and we're talking about it but they're afraid to, to actually tell anybody because people are going to think they're crazy. Um, and it's not crazy. It's a phenomenon that does happen, uh, whether it's during the dying process or even prior to the death. There's indicators that on some, some level, uh, the person in, in spirit side may, may know that they may be dying. And they, they say things prior to their death that in, after the death happens, the parent start to think, how, why did they act that way? And so it, it just embraces that there is a continuing connection. And so then you start to look and say, what is around here, you know, because I've seen people say, well, I've been, my friend gets pennies all the time. There's always a penny on the street. And so I've been asking for dimes and I'm looking for dimes and, and I can't find the dime and there, there's a butterfly flying around their head and they're doing like, like this and I'm not getting my dime. And this, I, I, you're not seeing the butterfly because you're looking for the dime. So it's it just like, don't ask God for what you need. Just, you know, just ask for the strength to get through the situation. And so you don't, you just ask, please. And, and once you're aware of it, once they know that you know that they know that you know, you know what I mean. They start to under, they'll come in and connect with you. Because once they know that you like the butterfly is your sign, then they'll start coming. And, but other people sometimes will get the signs too. So if you're afraid of it, that's why I call it whispers of love, because sometimes you have to whisper about it. Uh, but if you tell other people that, no, I'm really looking for signs and I don't get it. And a lot of moms ask me, why don't I get the signs? But sometimes in the early grief, our brain is so filled with the pain and, and that it, that it's hard to, to get in. So they'll go to other people, like children under five, five years old, they talk, to, they talk about seeing dead relatives all the time. And they talk in the back, they talk at night, you hear them talking in their room, and they're having conversations. And you ask them about it, and they'll maybe shut down a little bit. But if you just talk about it openly, um, they, they will tell you that this is real. I've got to tell you a story. A, a woman in my Compassionate Friends group went to you one of your evenings with the Compassionate Friends where you have people talk about their signs. And she went there and she said, I sat down and I said, I want to sign. I've never had one. And she turned to the woman next to her when there was a break in your get together. And she found out that her daughter's name was the same as the, her daughter's name that had died. The woman sitting next to her. And they were all, bo both veterinarians. Those, those, it, it, it's phenomenal. Yeah, even you go to a conference and you sit at a table and you start talking about it, you're going to meet someone that, oh my, how did this happen that I sat next to this person? Those connections, those synchronicities, that serendipity that happens just lifts and elevates you. And once you get to that, you, there's no going back down. Once you start getting the signs or feeling them, then you can connect more. You hear that song and you, multiple times, the, the signs will come in many, many ways. It's just opening up and saying not just what you're focused on. And some people want the dream too. They want that vivid dream. They want the billboard sign. But it's not always the billboard. It's something very, very subtle. And it can just be meeting somebody. Right, exactly, and being in the right place at the right time or watching this video with Mitch Carmody. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. And, and so many things happen at the workshop. Like, oh, this, we're in Texas now. When I was at Texas uh, doing a workshop in El Paso, and I said, you know, if you're going to ask for a sign, you know, make it easy for them. Like, don't ask for a penguin in Texas. <laughs> and this man, Ronnie Plotkin, if he's watching this, he stood up in the back and he says, don't tell me there's no penguins in Texas. I go, what? He said, when my son Raymond died, he loved penguins, everything about penguins. And so we adopted a penguin at the zoo in Texas. So there are penguins in Texas. And so now penguins, he gets penguin sign, people send him penguin pictures, penguin pins, penguin stat. Penguins is all about Raymond. So it's, it's really keeping Raymond present in the world through a penguin. 
Yeah, and why would Mitch Carmen do say penguins in Texas and have somebody do it? So exactly. there's a sign right exactly. there. Exactly. I never said it before. I go, why did I say that? You know, why did I even say it? And so even I, I was doing another workshop and I... 30 people and I usually I do portraits for children who have died and so I, I say I'm gonna give a portrait away at the at thing I said yeah, again when I do a life portrait I have to include everything about the child that, that represents their life it's a life portrait and I said well for, if, if they played the saxophone I will draw a saxophone in the in the picture and so they, that, that's all I said. And then we, I said, okay, I drew a name out of the hat, and I drew this girl. And she said, oh, I'm a sibling. Is that okay? I said, yes, it's okay. I went, yes, I'll do your portrait for you. And she said, well, you won't believe this. And she pulled her sweater open, and she had a T-shirt on with a photograph of her brother in Boston and playing a saxophone. And she, I said, see, that it's, it happens that quickly. All right. Well, Mitch, tell us about your book and your website. Where can we find you? Uh, uh, heartlightstudios.com or heartlightstudios.net and my book is Letters to My Son, A Journey Through Grief or, or this Letters to My Son, the second book, uh, Turning Lost to Legacy and that's what really my book is about is turning our loss to legacy taking the pain and, and using the power in grief to transform your life to be better, I mean to better instead of bitter to get out and do something in legacy of that my son's been dead for 27 years and my granddaughters are five and seven, and they talk about Uncle Kelly all the time because we've kept him present. We kept, we say Kelly is, his name is Kelly, not was. Kelly is their uncle. And my little grand, five years old, and she, because she's connected, she says, I miss Uncle Kelly. And she's never met him. But, you know, they've been growing up in proactive grieving since they were born. So when, when, the, dog, when uh, the cat died, and little Emma died, the cat died, she goes, Well, now Kelly's got a cat. So she's not, she, wasn't, she wasn't grieving so hard for her own grief because she knew that the cat was going to go up to Kelly. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today. And can you give our audience one last tip about getting a sign? Getting a is just being open and not being afraid to ask, like asking for penguins in Texas. Just not being afraid to ask and to let other, what, let other people know. That is the biggest thing because they will come, they'll come to somebody who is not, we're not all intuitive, we're not all artists, we're not all great speakers. So some people are, are more intuitive. So if there's the people out there that are getting signs for you, but they're not gonna come up to you unless you give them some sort of permission. Okay, so be open to your signs and thanks for watching this video. I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley with the Open to Hope Foundation and Mitch and I wanna tell you that if you've lost hope, please lean on ours till you find your own and God bless.